gruesome aspects and forensic analysis. The gruesome nature of Gacy's crimes lies in their scale, brutality, and disposal methods. The crawl space, a damp four-foot cavity under his home, contained 29 bodies in various states of decomposition, some stacked atop each other, creating a macabre mass grave. Forensic scientists faced a horrific scene. Skeletal remains, mummified tissue, and adiposha, a waxy byproduct of decay, complicated identification. The stench of decay, noted by neighbors, was a key clue ignored until late in the investigation. Autopsies revealed strangulation as the primary cause of death, with ligature marks and rope fibers embedded in neck tissue. Some victims showed signs of sexual assault, with trauma to the anal and genital areas, and others had been stabbed or beaten, indicating escalating violence. Gacy's souvenirs, clothing or personal items, aligned with his need to possess his victims, a common trait in serial killers. Soil samples, insect activity, forensic entomology, and dental records were critical in identifying remains, as DNA technology was not yet available in the 1970s. Notoriety and public persona Gacy's case was outspoken due to the stark contrast between his public image and his crimes. As a respected community figure who entertained as a clown at children's parties and fundraisers, 